Contestant number seven, Jamal George. I'm so busy, even my coffee needs coffee. <laughs> I'm so busy, even my coffee needs coffee. Jamal George. I am so busy that just to keep up with me, my coffee needs a coffee. If busyness were an Olympic sport, I'd have a gold, silver, bronze medal hanging around my neck by now. Come to share and friends. You want me to what? Be active in Toastmasters? Mentor people in Toastmasters and at work? And take care of my kids? That includes my spouse and my boss? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I barely have time for myself, let alone anyone else. I am stretched so thin that if I were any more transparent, I'd disappear in thin air. <laughs> now you might be wondering, what is this person so busy doing? Buckle up, because I'm about to spill the beans. It all starts with my morning routine. It's a doozy. But stop, I need not one, but two cups of morning coffee loaded with cream and sugar just to wake me up enough to comprehend how chaotic my day is going to be. Then I launch into an epic saga of conquering dirty dishes, cleaning kitchen, and deciding what in the world to have for lunch. And before I can step my foot outside, I'm already knee deep in the never ending abyss of instant messages and emails. And before I know it, I am rolling into my 8 a.m. work meeting in my pajamas. <laughs> well, that's how pros do it. <laughs> now that I'm glued on my computer, there is no escaping. It's a quick sand for productivity. <laughs> for my lunch, it consists of whatever is in my hands reach, preferably sugary snacks. <laughs> because let's be honest, instant gratification is my middle name. <laughs> and here's a real kicker. There is always something or someone to set me off. Maybe it's my boss who had a questionable choice for lunch or a bad hair day. Or my colleague is plodding something behind my back. Or God forbid, my husband did something that will give me grief for weeks. And don't get me started on those not so close friend of mine who loves sending cryptic messages. That's a whole new level of busyness out there. Once I'm triggered, it's a never ending roller coaster of self induced busyness. Can you relate to this? We're all juggling with responsibilities deadlines, distractions, that is taking a toll on our well-being and relationship. What do we do about it? What can I do? What do you want to do about it? A wise friend told me, busyness doesn't equate to productivity or fulfillment. It's a trap or a treadmill that we willingly step on without considering where it leads. So how do we break free from the cycle? It all starts with intentionality. We need to pause, reflect, and prioritize what matters most. For me, making an impact, living purposefully, 
and community service like Toastmasters matters. Finding that me time helps me to just relax and enjoy, and that is very crucial. I gradually reclaimed my schedule by taking care of those distractions. And now I have time to read, hike, and for my loved ones. And by adding excitement into my daily routine, I am freed from those clutches of those two strong cups of coffee. Now, coffee is like a friend who shows up late in the party. Nice to have, but not essential. I am the CEO of my life, running it with ease of finding the remote during a Netflix binge. While I zest about being so busy, unchecked busyness can rob us of the joy and purpose we all seek in life. Will you be willing to join hands with me to break free of this busyness cycle, finding meaning and purpose in your daily routine? The choice is yours and let's make it count. <clears throat> Fellow Toastmasters and friends, goodbye to those busyness. <clears throat> Today, my coffee is just a bonus, not a lifeline. <laughs> <laughs>